a dramatic turn of events, the Invictus Games anniversary ceremony was hijacked by a fiery confrontation between Earl Spencer, the late Princess Diana's brother, and his nephew, Prince Harry. The unexpected clash, occurring in front of stunned attendees, has exposed a widening rift within the royal family and raised serious questions about the future of the games themselves. Earl Spencer, known for his eloquent speeches and unwavering loyalty to his family, shocked the crowd when he launched into a scathing denouncement of Prince Harry's involvement in the event. His words, delivered with passion and conviction, accused the Duke of Sussex of exploiting the games for personal gain and neglecting the true heroes of the occasion, the wounded veterans. While some spectators were visibly disturbed by the public nature of the rebuke, others quietly voiced their agreement with Earl Spencer's sentiments. This incident has amplified the growing discontent among certain circles who feel that Prince Harry's controversial actions and outspoken criticism of the royal family have overshadowed the inspiring stories of resilience and recovery that the games were originally meant to celebrate. The confrontation also underscores the deepening divide between Prince Harry and his relatives. Earl Spencer's condemnation serves as a stark reminder of the fractured relationships that continue to plague the royal family, casting a dark cloud over what should have been a joyous celebration of courage and determination. Despite the drama, the Invictus Games remain a powerful symbol of hope and inspiration for wounded servicemen and women around the world. Founded by Prince Harry in 2014, the Games have provided a platform for these extraordinary individuals to showcase their incredible strength and spirit, transforming lives and challenging societal perceptions of disability. Moving forward, it is imperative that the focus returns to the true purpose of the Games, to empower and uplift those who have sacrificed so much in service to their country. The recent controversy should not overshadow the remarkable achievements of the athletes or detract from the positive impact the games have had on countless lives. As the dust settles on this latest royal feud, one thing is clear. The Invictus Games must remain a beacon of hope, resilience, and unity, even as the personal battles of its founder continue to rage on. The future of the games depends on upholding its core values and ensuring that the spotlight remains firmly on the inspiring athletes who have overcome unimaginable challenges to achieve greatness.